What's up guys, Render here, back again with another Madden video, and today I wanted to talk about Mad Mobile. Now, I have never played or made videos on Mad Mobile before, but I have played it for years on years, and I wanted to dip my foot into the pool better, which is Madden Mobile. Um, I have a couple suggestions as to how you should get started on the right foot, because trust me, there are a lot of ways to start off poorly in Madden Mobile. If you like what you see in the video today, I do ask that you like and subscribe if you are new or if you enjoyed the video in of itself. Um, I have spent a little bit of time playing Madden Mobile and I do enjoy it. It's not Madden console by any means, but it's enough to kind of get me over and get me excited um, to play Madden Ultimate Team uh, at the end of August. So let's jump into my suggestions for today. Now, the very first thing that we see here is the interface for Madden Mobile. And it, it's a very nice interface, right? Um, they do a very nice job of making it very uh, stupid simple, if you will. Um, you have your UI, you have solo, you have competitive, you have the yard, you have leagues, and you have store, as well as your team sets and goals on the right hand side. And it also shows you what promos are going on. And right now is the icons promo that they just dropped today. The very first the thing that I need you to understand is that solos are very, very important if you want to start off properly in Madden Mobile. If you want to access the auction house, which is kind of the no money spent way to make coins in this game, you need to uh, have two different or meet two different thresholds. And the first one is to be level five. If you want to level up quick, you need to go into this XP blitz that we see here. Okay. What the XP blitz does for you is that it gives you roughly about 500 XP um, every time you complete it. Now it says 90, 90 is what you get, I believe, for just completing the solo, and then you get an additional 500 for as like a an item or a collectible, if you will, and that immediately turns into XP. So if you complete it once, all right, that means that you are able to auto it afterwards. And so if you auto it or complete it 10 times, that is what 500 xp every time times 10 is 5000 if you add in the 900 that you get from that you're looking at 5900 if i tested it out earlier i think it gives you almost enough to get to level five so that meets the first threshold in order to unlock the auction house the second one is just to get a 65 overall team and if you just play the game you will easily get enough players to uh, meet that threshold of a 65 overall team okay that's the first thing is leveling up and I would suggest doing that every single day if you can because in addition to getting the auction house opened up you also are able to um, get packs at certain levels so I think 5, 10 so every um, 5 or 10 um, so every five levels, I believe you get a pack. Now it's a pro pack, I think initially, maybe if you get higher, it could be an all pro pack or it could be a better pack. Whatever it is, just leveling up and getting a reward is a good idea to continue on with. Now that's leveling up because you do want to get to the auction house and be able to snipe and maybe make some coins or just find cards for cheap. Um, the second thing is let's talk about how to make coins. Now we'll stay on this Madden Today screen because it is important. It is a good place to go to. Um, the coins is a nice place to go to, the Blitz coins. Um, I will say it is very expensive with stamina and I'll talk more about stamina at the end of the video. But if you wanted to, you could complete this 10 times and I believe you earn um, roughly 3,200 coins per completion, you times that by 10, that's 32,000 coins that you can earn every time you 10 uh, time complete this. Now, it does burn up stamina, it's 45 per, so that's 450 stamina that you need. You can see I'm level 20, and I don't even get 250 stamina, or sorry, I don't even get 450 stamina just being at that level yet. So, you will have to stock up stamina a little bit if you want to complete this 10 times in a row. But 32,000 coins for maybe every couple days isn't a bad income to have. Another way to make coins um, is really just completing solo challenges or the live events for Madden today. Uh, if we also go back, you will see at the bottom right or bottom left hand corner, you see watch ad. Now they implemented, I think, it this year first, first and foremost. They haven't had this in previous Madden mobiles. If you click watch ad, and we will do that right now because why not, right? Um, it's just some cheesy game that no one's probably ever going to play. And it's about a 30 second thing. Now, the interesting thing about this is that it does give you rewards. I think it gives you three different options of either gems, coins, or players. 
I think I've only ever seen coins, and the coins range from 1500 or better. I have seen 1500, I've seen I think maybe 3000, I've seen 5000, I've seen uh, 7000 even. So it definitely is worth it, especially if you're not actively playing the game. So if we open it up here, we can see that I get, let's see what I get. I get 50 gems, that's the first time I've ever gotten gems actually. So that's actually kind of cool um gems is another currency kind of for free to play players where you can open up packs based off of how many gems that you have but definitely watching ads kind of a passive way to earn a little bit of coins here and there the other way is again going back to souls i showed you about madden today and going to the uh, xp coin blitz event it's a good way to make it it does require a lot of stamina so it's kind of a killer with that so i would be careful with that don't use all of your stamina 24 7 just for the 32,000 coins because there are other ways to make coins um, i'll make another video about that um, the next thing i would say is to really get into the promos the programs that we see right now we have the icons event this isn't the greatest one um, that i've noticed i am excited for the randy moss because i'm a huge randy moss fan um, and it looks really cool but the interesting thing about this is that they give you um, stamina for the specific program make sure you are constantly using this you cannot waste this because you get so much every single day. If you use it all up, you are guaranteed to have at least something decent by the end of this. The previous program that we had, if I go back to the home, actually I'll go to the settings, uh, the sets. If we go back to the sets and we go to programs, uh, the previous one we had, I believe, was with the fired up um, program. You were able to get, I believe, one or two 81 overalls, which each sold for about 150K. That's 300,000 coins that you could get just there off of two things that you just had to constantly use the stamina that they gave you every single day to make coins off of it. So definitely check out the programs every single time they drop one. You can at least get a guaranteed one or two cards that can make you a lot of coins back. And at this day and age for Mad Mobile, getting all the coins you can and not buying that much is the most important thing to do in addition to leveling up as well. Okay, uh, the next thing, my suggestion to you is how to make coins is whenever you get a card, sell it. Sell it, sell it, sell it. You do not need a high overall team right now unless you are a whale and if that's the case then you don't really need to worry about conserving your coins that you have because you spend thousands of dollars in the game. But if you look at my bench, um, I need to sell a lot of these things. But you have 75 overalls, I think that the HaHa ha Clinton Dick's are actually a free card so he won't really sell. But um, you see the golds that I have here. You can sell these and make thousands of coins off of it. You really don't need to have a high overall team right now because if you have a 70 overall that goes for, let's say, seven or 8,000 coins, in a few weeks from now, we could see that drastically drop to maybe 1,000 or two coins. The purpose of this right now is to sell everything you have. That way, at the right time in Madden, you can get a lot more value for how much coins you have. And if you keep following the methods that we YouTubers put out, you'll have enough coins really to buy whoever you want and have a pretty solid team at the start of Madden. Okay, so that's a couple ways to make coins. Um, the promo, again, always use the stamina for that. Don't run out of it. That's a big suggestion that I have for you all. The last thing I want to talk about is stamina because stamina is such a premium this year in Madden Mobile. Um, you don't get it back very easily. There aren't a lot of ways to get stamina. So I would suggest that you choose what you want to use stamina for every single day. Maybe Mondays you like to use it for the XP. Maybe Tuesdays it's for the coins. Maybe you want to use stamina for other things. Be careful with how you use stamina because if you waste it at the start of Madden, you can get either bored of the game because you're not progressing like everybody else is, or you use it for wrong things and notice that you're not having enough coins or having a not high enough overall team to do the things that you want to do. So make sure you are using your stamina wisely. And notice the watch ad section. It pops up pretty frequently. You can earn maybe... 1500 coins for maybe an hour that's not bad if you play the game a couple hours a day um, so just be careful with the watch ads and also again stamina is something that you really need to be careful with uh, the last thing that i'll just push out to you is just a knowledge thing um, if you need to always go over here and claim the madden bonus it's one of the main ways that you can 
get stamina for the day. It gives you 50 stamina and 100 training points, which is not bad whatsoever. Um, and also, if you go over to your goals for the day, dailies, you do get a little bit of stamina. I believe maybe you get, what, close to 200 if you complete everything for the day. So those are the few ways that you're actually able to get stamina other than what they give you for um, your specific level. All right, that's all I have for the video. Again, just really a quick reminder, make sure to get your level up quick. Make sure to keep earning coins through either challenges, uh, the auction house, which maybe I'll have another video on later. Um, but make sure you are constantly being productive in this game. If you're not productive and become complacent, you can easily fall behind in this game. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, everyone. What we do here is go back, 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 back.